Got her now. Hopefully the um, audio is not too bad. I'm just in the digger, walking up the hill. Gonna show you guys a bit of shoveling today. Brought the old drone up with me. Hope you guys enjoyed that last little bit. Had a few comments, um, people saying he's back and welcome back, Matty. So I thought I'd better, I thought I owe you loyal subscribers a bit of an explanation on the lack of videos. It's, uh, life's been a little bit hectic, you know, everything, everyone's going through it, the COVID, the COVID buzz and yeah, my, uh, my two kids and wife ended up getting it. I was working in a bubble, like driving to work on my own, getting in the machine, testing every day. So I managed to get another week's work. And then um, I bloody got it on the last day, <laughs> on their seventh day, so that was a bit of a bugger. Yeah, a bit of a mixture of COVID and being real busy at work. We're trying to pump it out. But, uh, Ultimately, the ultimately it's the bloody lack of effort. To be fair, I've just been so caught up in life. No real excuses. But uh, yeah, I, I appreciate those nice comments on that last bit. People say it don't help, but it does. It is motivating. So yeah, I want to thank you guys again for watching and commenting and liking the vid. Yeah, I do know if I want to be bloody relevant in this YouTube game, I need to freaking get some more content out there, keep you guys interested. Yeah, I'm just trying to get past this bloody uh, bucket digger. Holy Rick, what's going on here? Well, guys, I'm about about halfway up the hill, so. I'll get up there and get started and try and put some footage together. I haven't actually put much shoveling footage, uh, footage together. Been doing a lot of the, um, done quite a few tree fouling, how to's and all that kind of stuff. Now we'll, we'll get up there brothers and we'll try and show you guys some mean footage. There's a little bit of cream there on the leaf we're going to leave for a rainy day. This is the valley that we recently just finished. Got that done close to the end of summer. Here's my centre track there. There I am up the top, just finishing off my first line that you just watched on the GoPro. There I am just putting it in poles. Try and keep it tidy so I kind of go up once, come down once, finish everything on the first line. It's another angle there, putting in poles, come down, put it on top of the next pole. Last few trees here, 
And then we'll get back into it. Roger. First little face done. Now I've just moved over. Basically just gonna fill this gutter. Fill this gutter with all of the rest of this wood and then go down around onto my uh, track that's lower down. And I should be able to reach all of them. Chuck them down to coach in the skitter. And we'll be pulling pulling for days, I'd say. All this stuff. Roger. What I like about shoveling is literally every part of the setting, you know, gives its challenges. You know, every time you shovel, things are just different every time. That's why it's very hard to, you know, I'm not trying to make a video on trying to tell people what to do or anything like that because everything's different. I find the best shovelers of the round are the, the ones that have the most experience. You know, especially people that shovel full time, they'll just be experiencing so many different things every day and you just end up learning the tricks of, tricks of the trade, if that's how you want to say it. So, that's why it's one of, one of my, one of my most favourite jobs in the bush, shoveling. It just keeps you, uh, every time you shovel it's a challenge. And um, it's just constant learning. You know, sometimes cutting dots and log making and shit can get a bit repetitive, but shoveling Definitely challenging, keeps you on your toes. I'll just chuck this camera on the digger and show you fellas me throwing a few of these down. shoot that I'm throwing all the wood down, down to my centre track there, so it's just a nice V gut that, bit of gravity helping me there, a little bit of angle on it so the trees are sliding down to my track, so many trees in this block man, unthinned and pruned, I'm talking to yourself, I'm talking to the camera bar. Oh. so I've made it to the top corner, 11 o'clock, smoko time, baby. First meal of the day. Me and Hannah been indulging in a little bit of fasting. Right. Let's see what we got. What's Hannah done for me? Da, 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 da. So we've got a couple of boiled eggs in there. Oh, look at this. Yeah, a little bit of baby food. Nah, no, I think it's hummus. A few bits of chicken, crackers. This is all I'm supposed to be eating. This is our meal prep, Hannah's meal prep. Bit of rice, broccoli, mince. Hooking it up with the muttal. She knows I love the old muttal. Yeah. Got knock the spoon, but these mass branches around. Use use this one. Just give it a bit of a prune. This is probably the amount of kai I should be eating if I'm tree felling for the whole day. 
shouldn't be eating this much if I'm in the machine. I reckon Hannah likes it when I'm a little bit more hinu, to be honest. Ah, bit of a mission. Holy wreck. Losing all the whites. Good. I swear, I swear I never opened the top of this before I said Hannah likes it when I'm more hinu. Look at this. <laughs> Holy wreck. A Sprite and some chocolate. Damn, Zaniel. Hannah, I'm gonna eat it, but don't ever do that again, yeah? Okay? I see Dad eating a chocolate before. And also I can see heaps and eats of cheese, wait. I, I saw Dad's sticker, and I could see a big drive path, and I can... I can see the drone turning around. Hello, Dad Hazel. One take on the spot voiceover. Last goal. So you can see I managed to get all the wood down. Most of it down to the bottom. Took a few hours. But as you can see, there's still thousands of trees left. So there's going to be plenty of videos left in this block. But uh, now, now, I'll just cruise down, speed it up a little bit. Uh, we'll cruise down and go check out how Brett, Carey and Coach got on for the day. Ooh, it's good looking swollen, guys. Very nice. Nice stacking, my bro. Stack's looking nice and flush. Plenty of stock there. You can see the bro Brett's put in all the corduroy on the ground, getting us ready for winter. Should be a clean, tidy skid all year round. Shouldn't be much mud there. Awesome stockpile there. Coach done a wicked job pulling some wood today. There you go, view at the front of the stacks, you beauty. The old hut. But now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.